Hi, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel, JK Star A Reader. Today I'm doing a Friday Reads. That's right, it's a Friday Reads for me, and I have a stack of books here to talk about. So let's get going. The first book I have to show you it is Shadow Spell by Nora Roberts. Hopefully, you can see that. This is the second book in the Cousins Old Dyer series, and it's a continuation from the first book, which was The Dark Witch. And so, uh, after the battle in the first book, the second book is about the new family member Iona arriving from the US. She has fought at the uh, Dark Mage and has won a battle but he threatens to return and so the second book is a uh, preparation for the next battle and so there's uh, the cousins uh, learning to get to know each other and having uh, a chance to catch up as well as there are uh, battle training uh, scenes and so um, this is a fantasy but it is very light in terms of the fantasy that is out there and so I think this is a, a bit of a cozy read as well as uh, more serious elements uh, mixed into the yeah the uh, mix so uh, the book is uh, it seems to be going well there are interesting time and bonding with familiars and uh, we'll see where the story goes. Uh, I am around uh, the 100th page mark and I plan to read more of it. This is the first book that I'm reading for the Reindeer Readathon and I have a full list of books that I have put together uh, in my previous video so uh, check that out. And so yeah, hopefully I'll get to the end of this book uh, fairly soon. I am taking it on my journeys around the city on the city bus and so eventually I'll get to the end uh, and my destination as well. So yeah, Shadow Spell by Nora Roberts. Next I have another book to show you and this one is Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. So I have started this book and this is a carryover from the month before. Even though, as, as I said, I have a long list of books to read for the Reindeer Readathon, I still would like to read some of the ones that I have uh, still lingering around with uh, unread. And so I have read a few chapters of this book, and this so far is so good. It is about Penny Lee, who leaves her big city behind to uh, travel to Texas where she has enrolled in a writing course and her goal is to become a writer. There she meets Sam who is down on his luck. He has $17 in his pocket and is finding a way out from the uh, spot that he is in. And so we'll see how what the meaning between these two, uh, where that goes. And so, yeah, hopefully a romance. So, Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. Next, I have another book to show you, and this one is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. So, I have posted about this book before, but that was maybe two or three winters ago and now it is at that season again when it is cold out and there is snow on the ground and it looks like it's time to finally get back to this book which I started but um, did not get very far before uh, finding other things that occupied my time and so now with the winter months maybe this will be a good chance for me to catch up on some of the books. Uh, this is uh, actually the first of a duology and I, um, I can't wait to get to that one. But first, uh, the first book which is about, let's see, Nella Ortman who has married an older man. She settles into his home but finds that he is absent. Instead, she is minded by his sister, 
uh, Marin. And so there's a bit of a mystery and maybe some magic. We'll see where the story goes. Uh, the Minstress by Jesse Burton. Next, I have another book, and this is my library book pick of the week. I have maybe too many library books checked out from the library right now. Beside me, uh, you can't see, but there is literally a big mountain of books. Many of them from the library I still have to go through, but I do want to uh, make uh, the process as easy as possible. So I'm starting with uh, something that is uh, fairly short, I guess, but hopefully f fairly um, uh, and compelling as well. This one is the... it's an odd title. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It is the... the Zigraphist. I think that's how it was pronounced when I saw the video online. And this is by poet Canisia Lubrin. And so I have had this book from the library for many weeks now, and I'm finally getting around to reading it. It's a poetry collection, and it won a major prize in Canada for poetry. And so uh, I've heard about it for a couple of years now, and finally I, I'm making a, a, my att an, a, attempt to get through this poetry book and a few others that I have managed to uh, borrow from the library and hopefully I'll, yeah, uh, get, uh, it shouldn't take me too long to read a poetry book, but it should be a uh, adventurous and interesting, uh, compelling story, uh, book of poems if it uh, caught the attention of a uh, war uh, committee. So yeah. The Zigraphist by Kinesia Lubrin. Uh, this next portion of the video, I'll be doing a mini haul. I do uh, purchase books uh, from time to time over the course of the last few weeks and few uh, over the last year or so. And so I have new ones that I have uh, Come, become part of my collection. So here is the first one of those. This one is um, The Leftover Woman by Jean Kwa. And so this is a book that I uh, saw at the bookstore recently. It is um, a newer title that was recently uh, published. And I think uh, this is the first book that I will read by this author. I have heard about the author before. Uh, um, her name uh, pops up whenever I search books by Asian American writers. And so I think uh, with this read, I'll be uh, interested in going back to her uh, some of the older titles that the author has uh, written. Uh, I believe one was challenged by a school uh, in the summer and I saw some uh, social media posts about that. And so that re uh, actually uh, intrigued me enough to uh, look into this author's works. So yeah, The Leftover Woman, which is about, um, um, I guess, uh, adoption of a Chinese a girl to an American um, family and how that affects the child as she grows up and becomes wonders about her identity, heritage, and where she belongs in a society that uh, is many, many parts of it is uh, calling for her attention. So yeah, The Leftover Woman by Jean Kwa. The next book that I have to show you, it is Marriage of a Thousand Lives by S.J. Sindhu. So uh, this is an older title and I've been meaning to get around to reading it ever since I saw it at the library. But finally I 
purchased my own copy and it was a, at a fairly decent uh, price online. And so yeah, I am interested in getting back to reading uh, books by Sri Lankan authors and this one is about uh, a married couple. They are actually uh, gay and have decided to marry each other to uh, put up um, a, a, to signal to others that they are together even when uh, they uh, have feelings for other people. And so I guess this is a book that I've um, I've uh, been meaning to read and I hope to get around to it uh, sooner rather than later. So yeah, um, this is Marriage of a Thousand Lies by S.J. Sindhu. And finally, one more book in my mini haul, and this should be the last book in the video. This one is Medusa by Jesse Burton. So uh, while I am still uh, determined to read The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton, I have been wondering when I will get to New Ways by this author. And so this book caught my eye. This is the... Uh, I guess North American release of this title, Medusa by Jesse Burton, which is uh, the retelling of the story of Medusa from uh, Greek mythology. And so uh, this is a newer title that was released in 2021 in the UK, and now it is available in Canada. So yeah, hopefully I'll get to this uh, soon. Uh, Medusa by Jesse Burton. Okay, that's it for me for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you another time. Thanks. Bye.